Today we're going to be looking at some rocks. I was on a hunting trip recently to southwest Minnesota near the South Dakota border and um, long story short one of the fields that we were in I noticed had a lot of rocks in it and started noticing some different colors and patterns and stuff like that and by the time we left that field I had filled my pockets with rocks and um, I don't know much about rocks I'm not a rock hound or anything like that um, but occasionally I have been known to pick up a rock or two so got some pretty interesting stuff here all this was picked up in a matter of about 20 or 30 minutes while we were in this one field so a lot of it has fossils in it too as you'll see um, we'll just start at the front here these little guys uh, pretty sure this is just a piece of granite I think this is granite also but I've never really seen black granite before I'm not sure that's what it is or or not and I I don't know what I'm talking about at all when it comes to rocks so you're just gonna have to forgive me this is all kind of guesswork and based on my very limited knowledge of rocks another piece of granite here no idea what this is but it's pretty cool wish I could have found a, a bigger piece like that whatever it is it's pretty neat um, this I think is slate but I'm not sure weird thing is it's black then this piece flaked off this would be the outside not too sure what it is but I thought it was cool so I picked it up Moving on, this is really interesting. There's a lot of stuff like this there. Where on one hand it looks like the quartz. It has quartz in it. But it also has a lot of fossils in it. There's a lot of little shell patterns and stuff like that. Porous, uh, what looks like could be like sea sponge. Kind of crusted along the side of it there. And then on the outside. So that's interesting. piece of, I don't know, I don't know what that is, limestone maybe, it's weird, fossilized corn, <laughs> maybe, that's what it lo kind of looks like fossilized corn kernel moving on pick out this little red one back here I don't know what it is but I thought it looked cool so I picked it up some of these look cool when you get them wet too See if the color changes at all on this one. Maybe a little 
little bit. This piece here, I'm not sure. Again, this is another piece that has multiple things going on. On one hand, it has, it looks like it has uh, fossils, little fossil pieces in it. Very strange, but it also looks like it has pieces of quartz in it. I think this might be petrified wood, but I'm not sure. Definitely, definitely looks weird. This piece I thought was pretty interesting. Again, there's a lot of like little fossilized pieces on it. But then it also has this glitter black flake stuff. It's like peppered in that stuff. Sparkles and black pepper. Almost has kind of a brittle feel to it, also. This, at first, I thought was just uh, like a piece of green field stone and then when I clean it off a little bit it just it looks too green to be your average field stone so I almost I wonder if this isn't um, it, it has a kind of a cucumber look to it I wonder if this isn't Jasper or maybe Jade very very rough piece of Jasper or Jade <coughs> I'm not sure. This is one that I would like to, to tumble or polish and uh, see how it turns out. It's got some calcium deposits on it, but uh, we'll see what this one looks like. Put some water on it. Yeah, it just gets darker. Really weird though. I definitely want to get this one polished. I'm curious about what that could be. It's definitely not your average field stone. Uh, here's a what looks like it's probably a piece of granite of some kind. Calcium deposits on it. Or fossilized bits of something not sure Get some water on this one
Weird. Definitely weird. Okay, uh, we'll pick out this big guy back here. I have no idea. No idea. At first I thought this might be like petrified poop because that's a thing that you can find. <laughs> petrified dinosaur poop or whatever. Um, but the weird thing about it is that it feels really chalky. And I showed this to uh, a friend of mine who, who is a a rock hound and he told me that this was probably um, chalk lime chalk limestone which it, it definitely feels like chalk definitely has a very chalky feel to it but it doesn't look like any chalk limestone I've ever seen normally it wouldn't be rounded like this or look anything like this it would uh, have flat sides to it But I guess it depends on erosion, too. Maybe a chunk broke off and was just weathered over time. I don't know. No idea. Or it could be poop. Never know. Might not ever find out. Doesn't look like limestone. Feels like chalk. Doesn't really look like chalk. It is white though. I guess that counts for something. And we've got some, some kind of imprint on there. I didn't notice that before, whatever that could be. Who knows? Here's a, I don't know, I get some kind of red granite with a big calcium deposit on it. Thought it looked, looked kind of neat. I wish the light was a little better. You could probably get some more color out of these. Pretty neat though. Um, okay, this guy. At first I thought that this might be uh, what you would call an agate. A-G-A-T-E is the spelling for it because it has it has some characteristics of an agate but then again it doesn't really look like what you would think an agate would, would look like except that it does have these like uh, they're like transparent clear pieces and some of that runs on the outside of it also. But then again, it looks like it could be petrified wood. So I'm not sure which. It almost has the look of um, like a rare, rare steak. <laughs> a piece of meat is kind of what it looks like. See what the water does to it. Yeah, I've definitely never seen anything quite like this.
half tempted to cut through the middle of it. See what it looks like in there because I don't know. Might be worth it, maybe not. I've never really cut anything, any rocks open before, so I'm not even really sure how you would I would, I would have to research that. I don't know. I'll probably leave it alone and just try to polish it. Not sure what it is though. Kind of looks like petrified wood. Very interesting. Just leave that one there. Uh, this is, um, let me get the water on this one first. I don't know what this is. It's probably nothing. Just a, just a rock. Kind of looks like a potato. But I thought it was shaped. I thought the shape of it was kind of interesting. Kind of, it looks like it could have been like a tool. A Native American tool of some kind. That was broken on the end here. On the other hand, it just kind of looks like a regular old rock, but it's pretty weird. So I picked it up. Uh, this one I'm not sure, but I think that this might be what they would call a nice G-N-E-I-S-S, -S, I think it's spelled. You can tell because of the, um, I mean, I would call it marbling, but I think most people in the rock world call it banding, the stripes. See what the water does to this one. These need to be cleaned also. I mean, I, I rinsed them in water and wiped them off with a towel, but you can tell that there's some, some scum on there. This would probably look a lot nicer if I uh, cleaned it properly, soaked these in vinegar for a while maybe, clean them up. This is a really neat rock though. I think these are, are somewhat hard to find. Yeah, that's why I started picking these up. I noticed these were a lot of a lot of rocks that I wouldn't I wouldn't see in any fields back home. But they were just all over the place, all over the ground at this place that we were at. Okay, this is really interesting. I mean, it looks, it kind of just looks like a rock, like a beat up pitted old rock, but I think this is actually a fossil. I think this might be a, like a fossilized um, sea sponge maybe, or coral or, or something like that because it's, Almost, and it seems like it's entirely encrusted with coral. <clears throat> coral or sea sponge or, or something, something like that. Let me get this wet, see what it looks like. Looks really weird when you zoom in on it too. Almost looks like a, a 
holiday cheese ball or something. Really weird, but if you really look at those little granule pieces up close, you'll start to see the little, uh, the little like sea sponge characteristics, the little seashell, tiny, porous, sponge like pieces. And once you kind of pick up on that, you start to see a lot more of it. And then you kind of get to what I'm talking about here. I think that this might be, this whole thing might be fossilized sea sponge, maybe. Silicified, is that what they, what they call it? It almost has a that look to it like a, yeah I'm pretty sure the term is silicified it's kind of like petrified but different yeah it's kind of gross looking but it's just rock hard as hard as a rock because it's a rock until you look a little closer the closer you get the weirder it gets okay well, all we've got left I think is some normal normal stuff. I'm pretty sure that this is granite of some kind. It's got some big um, calcium deposits on it. Pretty neat though. I have seen this stuff around before still pretty neat and then <clears throat> I'm pretty sure that this is quartz just a big old chunk of quartz It's got some, some bigger flakes in it. Pretty neat though. There were some big crystal pieces in here that I saw earlier. I was trying to find those. Of course, I can't find them again. Oh, here you go. <clears throat> so right here kind of looks like there, there might be some bigger crystal pieces hiding in there. Who knows? Pretty neat though, pretty neat stuff. Got, I'm pretty sure, some quartz. That's what that is. We've got some granite. We've got some other 
I think that this is just like green, uh, common green field rock, but I kind of like the way that that looked. This is just a piece that, that flaked off of a much bigger rock. I just kind of like the way that that, that piece looked. Hmm. Just got a couple other things here. Just a really smooth red rock. And it almost has a feel to it like a, like silly putty. Like you just squeeze a piece of silly putty. Kind of like has like the finger prints in it from that. I thought that was kind of neat. So, some of the stuff I picked up because it was, I think it was genuine, genuinely interesting and weird. Other stuff I just was amused. Again, with the color, some of it just kind of looks like hamburger. <laughs> Not any kind of hamburger I'd want to eat, but it has that that look to it, or like a like a rare steak. Don't know what that is. I'm gonna have to find out some more about this. Pretty neat though. Got some weird cool stuff. Yeah, I don't know. These aren't rocks that uh, I typically would find just laying around in a field somewhere around here. Not in uh, that kind of abundance. Anyway, I could have probably spent all day in that field and um, found a lot of really, really good stuff. The bad thing is I don't think I could find that field again if I had to. Southwest Minnesota, it's a lot of uh, prairie preserve. Preservation, but they have public walk-in access hunting, so that's cool. It's beautiful territory down there, wide open space. There's an awful lot of corn, lots and lots and lots of cornfields, but there's also a lot of really neat, uh, like I said, prairie preservation lands. Places where you can go and find cool rocks while you're out pheasant hunting. That's all I got. Thanks for watching.